God loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. The day our Lord Jesus Christ came into the world to save the world. The day he was born is celebrated as Christmas Day. God is good. God loves you. He has not forsaken you. He has not forgotten you. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga. This morning again as usual, the God of the heavens and the earth, the maker of the universe, has sent me again to you to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you and to bless you. My prayer is that this morning, God will open your eyes of understanding so that you can know what God is saying to the churches. May you be filled with goodness. May God empower you to do. May God give you the ability to attract the best things to your life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Today I want to talk about the love of God. You see, the love of God is so big, you know, is so mighty, wide, high, deep, you know, and so we can say, we can talk about it every day and we would not be tired of talking about it. And I don't think anybody can be tired of hearing about the love of God. Everywhere in the world, Christmas is celebrated because many people recognize that it is the day that our Lord Jesus Christ is born. It has nothing to do with 25th of December. Some people say Jesus was not born on the 25th of September, I mean of December. Some people are claiming a certain date in October. But the real fact is that it doesn't really matter whether it is 25th of October or any uh, or 25th of December, whatever date it is. What really matters is the joy that God gave to the world through the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so we celebrate the birth, not the day. You see, the joy is not in the day. The joy is in the gift. John chapter 3 verse 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave. It is the gift. That is what matters. If somebody gives you a car, you see, the date that car is given is important, but that is not the most important. The important thing is the car, the gift that is given. So many people don't even remember the day they were given that kind of a gift. When we were born, our parents don't even remember the date of our birth. You see? You understand what I'm saying? Because what really mattered to them was the gift of the baby they had. And because they didn't really go to school like us, that's why they sent us to school. You see? So that is what I'm saying. The date is important, but it's not as important. So what is happening now is the celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. We need to celebrate. And how do we celebrate? We need to focus our lives. We need to accept that gift. A gift of salvation is given to us. God became flesh. God became us. And not only did he become flesh, he gave himself to us. And this is the gift. I stand at the door, I'm knocking, the door of your heart. If anyone will hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and begin to live with him forever. Our Lord Jesus Christ is willing to come into our lives, into our hearts. John chapter 1 verse 12, as many as received him, because he is a gift of God to mankind. As many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. He's telling us how to receive him. When we believe in his name, we have received him. When we believe in him, we have received him. As many as receive him, to them he gave power. 
to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. That is why the Bible says that anyone that believe in him shall not be put to shame. Yesterday I was telling you, he's not requiring too much from you. He's not asking for too much. He's not asking you to begin to observe some rules of do's and don'ts. He's only asking for one thing. Believe and be saved. Believe and receive his life. When we believe him, we have him in us. He begins to live in us. When we believe him, we receive a new life. When we believe him, we receive the life of God. When we believe him, we become extraordinary. When we believe him, we are no longer the same. Therefore, Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. When we receive him or believe in him, we become a new creation. We are no longer the same. We are not who they think we were. We have changed form in the spirit realm. We may still be wearing the same cloth. We may not become taller or shorter or fairer or darker. We are still the same on the physical plane. But in the spiritual realm, something drastically has happened to us. There's a drastic change. Great change since I'm born again. Great change since I'm born again. The things I used to do, I do them no more. The place I used to go, I go there no more. Oh, great change since I'm born again. There's a great change since I'm born again. When you give your life to Jesus, there's a drastic change. There's a great change. The devil knows it. The devil recognizes it. When they see you in the spirit realm, they know this is new. They know this is not the old person. There is something we can see. There is a change. The devil knows it. And the devil is afraid of the new you. Have you given your life to Jesus? Have you accepted him as your Lord and Savior? Have you set your heart to believe in him? Have you opened the door of your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ? That is the essence of Christmas. That is the gift of God to mankind. The gift of God to mankind is that mankind should become God kind. Hallelujah. That's my word. God kind is my word. The essence of Jesus, the essence of Christmas is to make man to become sons of God. The son of God became the son of man so that sons of men can become sons of God. Jesus came to make us to become like him. The Bible says, as he is, so are we. He said it in John chapter 20. As my father have sent me, even so send I you. We we are as he is. When you receive him, you have become him. You have become Christ. That is why they call us Christians. Because we are like Christ. Christ's people. We are little Christ. Because he is in us. He begins to live in us. He has transformed us. Our surname have changed. We have his surname. Our nature have changed. We have his nature. We are no longer the same. It is no longer I that live it, but Christ that live it in me. It is no longer I that live it, 
but Christ that liveth in me. In me, in me, Jesus is alive in me. It is no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. When you receive him, it's no longer you. When you accept him as your Lord and Savior, he has become your life. He has become the essence of your life. He has become the root of your life. You have become him. That is the mystery of godliness. That is the mystery of salvation. And that is the essence of Christmas. Thank you for listening. I say Merry Christmas in advance. Thank you for listening. You are able to hear this because of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. Thank you, partners. God bless you. Please rebroadcast this and get somebody blessed. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.